Hey everybody, welcome back to part 3 of the uh, CLD 53 um, kind of rework. So uh, this part is the, you know, the troubleshooting, trying to figure out why uh, laser discs are skipping backwards on both side A and side B. And talked to a colleague and I've been clued in that there are a couple of uh, capacitors that historically go bad. Uh, so we've got the super cap right here, the one farad. Uh, cap right there, and then we've got these two brown ones here, and those are uh, 10 microfarad 50 volt capacitors. So we're going to change three caps out and uh, see if that does the trick. So I've got this a little more zoomed out. Um, the boards, uh, there's a top audio board, and then there is a sideboard here and a bottom board. So you have to take all the screws out of the back of the unit. You basically have to detach this uh, to get everything to kind of move around. You have to undo some uh, connectors. And so this is not the funnest player to work on. Uh, but to save time, I took it apart and I kind of have it so I can flip over the board. And I'll have to reposition the camera once I get this in place. So I've got the camera repositioned. We're going to start with the most obvious one, the uh, the one farad um, super capacitor. Just going to use my solder wick. Here is the old capacitor. Uh, looks all right. Uh, it's got a little bit of rust, surface rust, or corrosion on the top. So now that we got this out, we're going to go ahead and get the other two out. Good news is I picked the right ones. All right, so these caps are out now too. These caps don't really show any sign of wear. Uh, they are brown. They're different than the other capacitors on the board. Um, and it was pointed out to me, like I said before. So while we have this thing apart, we're just going to play it safe and uh, go and replace those. show kind of what's going on here just pushing these through their holes come out the other side and then we'll just solder them up make sure your polarity is always going the right way Pay attention to your negatives and pull the old capacitors out.
pause this and check out my solder joints. All right, I missed, looks like I missed the top one on the capacitor here, the super capacitor rather. Everything passed. Let's go ahead and just trim these up. Alright, time to put this thing back together. Alright, so I have the board uh, plopped back in here. It's just resting in there, uh, nothing permanent yet. So we have to reconnect all these ribbon cables, and this is where the fun begins. are the worst. Yes. Got it. Normally these are pretty straightforward. You just you lift this up, you push it down to lock it in. But uh, when I took that big one off, it just shot off the the hold down part dead. All right, and then all of these I put aside. Uh, they're going to be for the audio board. So we'll go ahead and get. Uh, I'm gonna. Go ahead and get some screws into this thing, get it kind of secured back in place, and then we'll start to put the audio board back in. So I fitted the uh, back panel like loosely back on. I don't really have any screws in there quite yet. I just wanted to make sure I had a good, good pretty solid fit. important before you get too far into this you want to take the ribbon cable for the laser make sure these are up Go ahead and pop that back in push those back down that'll lock that ribbon cable in place it's our new capacitor super capacitor rather They could make these some like this, some the Molex kind, but oh well.
doing this in real time so you can see the pain of reconnecting these things. Oh man. We got our AC3 board. I'm not going to worry about hooking that back up just quite yet. I'm going to test this thing out, make sure it works before we go any further. Okay, so we are very roughly put back together. I don't have the AC3 board uh, mocked back up, but I've got the, the ends taped up that don't connect to anything, uh, just so we can eliminate that as a possible issue. Uh, so I'm gonna get the player spun back around. Uh, we'll get the camera looking at the front face and then we'll pop a disc in and, and uh, see what happens. So now that we have the player mostly back together, we're going to go ahead and put a test disc in and see what happens. Cross our fingers. This is good. We have video and audio. So I think we could say case closed on this. So three bad capacitors earlier in the video that shows where the bad caps were, uh, type, voltage, all that stuff. And then the next video will be, um, you know, we're going to shine up the face on this. We're going to put uh, brass sides on it and um, wood panels. So that will finish this player up. Thanks for watching. As part of the whole uh, changing out of the capacitors, I did want to go back and look and, and show the difference. Uh, so I'm going to hook up the old capacitor, my tester, and this is a 10 microfarad uh, so we are looking for let's go down to <clears throat> 20 and we're only getting 1.4 so let's disconnect that one and bring in a new one 10 microfarad 50 volt exactly 10 so we did have bad capacitors just to bring the other one in, back in as well. Registering it a one. Um, so the big things I noticed before the capacitors went bad, or we thought the capacitors were bad, was uh, digital audio was choppy on playback, and then we had the skipping issue as well. Uh, so replacing these two capacitors and the uh, super capacitor, the one, one farad uh, capacitor, looks like it solved that issue.